So we have stayed at some amazing campgrounds and we've stayed at some that are not so great. In fact, we even got kicked out of a campground, which is a whole story in and of itself that I'm gonna tell you a little bit later. But in this video, we're gonna talk about what are some things you should know when choosing a campground to avoid a bad experience. You're gonna to wanna to stay tuned. So first we're gonna talk about the best and then in just a little bit, we're gonna tell you about some of the worst campgrounds that we've been at. But there have been so many amazing campgrounds that we've stayed at in the last five years. It's really hard to narrow it down, but Ben, the kids and I had a little discussion. So we narrowed it down to the top three best campgrounds that we have ever stayed at. Coming in, number one is Sunshine Key in the Florida Keys. This is an amazing campground for a lot of reasons. It's part of the Thousand Trails system. It's an Encore Park. So if you have a Thousand Trails membership with the Encore add-on, it's only $20 a night. So amazing price for an amazing campground. It's like its own little island. So you can do paddle boarding or boating. There's a marina. There's so much to do from right there. Plus the views are absolutely stunning. So number two on the list is Golding's Campground in Monument Valley, Utah. Now there are some amazing things about this campground, but it almost feels like if you've seen the movie Cars with the red sandstone cliffs, it's like you're in this movie because it's beautiful. You're surrounded by all of these rock formations. It's in the middle of Navajo country in Utah, and it has its own hiking trails right there at the campground. So you can take a hike. There's its own art during these hiking trails. It's an amazing place to stay and one we definitely plan to go back and visit. So number three on the list for the top campgrounds we've stayed at, and this was actually our kids pick, and that's pretty much any KOA holiday. So we've stayed at some great ones from Palmer Gulch in South Dakota to KOA Holiday in Asheville to Omaha, Nebraska. Lots of fun KOA Holiday. The reason our kids like these is because there's so much to do for the kids. From the big jumping pillows that they tend to have, things like even going out on paddle boats or mini golf or riding the carts around. Any KOA holiday, especially if you've got kids, can be a destination in and of itself. There's so much to do at the campground and you don't even have to leave the campground to be able to find something to do. One caveat, they're not cheap, but experiences over things is our motto. So even when it's a little bit on the pricier side, we definitely always wanna go for the experience when possible. So before we jump over to the worst campgrounds we have ever stayed at, you'll have to let us know and really the RV community know in the comments below, what are some of the best campgrounds you have ever stayed at? This is where we love to see where people have stayed and others can see that too, to be able to get some inspiration for new places to go. So real quick, one thing that we have learned why we have been out on the road is it is so important when it comes to maintaining your waste tanks and that is where we're so thankful to have great sponsors like Unique Camping and Marine to be able to have all of their products with us to properly maintain our waste tanks. Now, we struggled with black tank smells for years. I mean, literally for years because we just didn't understand the proper methodology when it came to maintaining our waste tanks. So we're so thankful for the unique formulas that they have provided for us from drop-in pods to tank cleaners to actually they have a new formula that you can put in your black tank when you're putting your RV into storage. If you're a part-time RVer, you put your RV away and you bring it out maybe every other weekend, it is a great product to keep those black tank smells away. We'll have more information and a discount at the link in the description below. And a huge thank to Unique Camping and Marine for their sponsorship of this video and support of our channel. I still believe, I still believe. All right, let's jump over to the worst campgrounds. And I mean the worst that we have ever stayed at. So coming in number one on the list 
is a KOA journey that was outside of Amarillo, Texas. Now, the campground in and of itself, no complaints there, but it was all about location for us on this one because not only were there train tracks running right along the campground with multiple trains that were coming through at all hours of the day, but then right on the other side of the campground was a very large airport. Yes, train tracks and an airport. It was like the double whammy here. So needless to say, not a very quiet night to get rest at that particular one. And Ben actually was joking around with me that year because it seems like every campground we stayed at was near train tracks. He was thinking that there was some sort of filter that I was checking that said near train tracks. Not quite how that went. But anyway, that was number one on the list. Pretty much don't recommend if you want a quiet night's sleep. So number two on the list is Winter Island State Park in Massachusetts. Now, this was a great place to stay with access to the Boston area, but as far as amenities and just the overall campground, not the best experience. We actually got locked out in that particular one. So I'll put a link in the description below for that particular story. The biggest problem we had with that particular campground was the fact that there was no dump station on site and it was not a full hookup site. So we actually had to drive off site to go dump our tanks. So it was basically just a parking lot. It was pretty hard to get in and out. Maneuverability was sketchy at best. The other thing is, is that the bath houses, if you can call them that, definitely were pretty primitive and they were shared with beachgoers, which meant they just weren't the cleanest. And if you had hot water, that was a bonus. Probably would not stay there again. So the third worst campground experience we have ever had really didn't have much to do with the campground in and of itself, but it had to do with, unfortunately, the owners and the management of the campground, where we actually got kicked out of this particular campground. Wowzers. So we're finally here in Florida. We are fed up with being discriminated against, and we are being discriminated against at this campground right now yeah. because we have children. Younger family and because we are currently living in our RV. The owners do not agree with raising children on the road or in an RV, and so they would not let us continue to stay there, and we got booted out of that campground. We've traveled tons of states, and we've stayed at tons of KOAs, and again, watch some of our other videos, you'll see we're very complimentary. But this particular KOA, now we chose this KOA because this is located in Apopka, Florida, and this is where we're relocating our home base to. So I will put a link below for the full video on that if you want to see the full, full story. But that is it in a nutshell. Would not recommend that campground. Information will be below. So you'll have to let us know in the comments below what's the worst campground that you have stayed at. We would like to know, plus the RV community would maybe like to know where to stay away from. Another thing we've learned, reviews are your friend. So definitely check the reviews, see what others have said, especially others that have stayed at a campground recently. So I'm gonna leave the video right up here about how we got kicked out of that campground. I know you're gonna definitely find that interesting. If we don't see you around the campground or out on the road, we'll see you in the next video.